Good morning, boys and girls. Today, you are going to compare your numbers to 120. So you are going to use drawings to solve problems with tens and ones. But you are going to, like I said, compare numbers. You're gonna talk about numbers that are greater or less than. Look at Mr. Gator over here. He likes to open his mouth to the greater number. He doesn't really like the little numbers because they make him still hungry. So he always opens his mouth to the bigger number. This says Mr. Gator likes to munch juicy numbers for his lunch. Small numbers make his belly sore. Big numbers make him shout for more. You have a Brain Pop Junior over here for comparing numbers. Go ahead and watch that Brain Pop Junior video to learn a little bit more about greater than, less than, equal to, and comparing your numbers. So here's our global awareness. Glasgow is a city in Scotland, which is a country in the United Kingdom. So let's look at these two buildings from the United Kingdom, or Scotland in the United Kingdom. This is Red Road Court. Red Road Court has 31 floors. Whoa. And Peters Hill Drive also has 31 floors. Which building is the tallest? Talk to an adult or a brother or a sister, somebody at home. Tell them which building is taller and tell them how you know. If you think the buildings are the same, tell them why you think the buildings are the same. Use the words greater than, less than, or equal to to describe the height of the buildings. So talk to somebody around you to describe the height of those buildings. Our review. Tasha has 23 pencils. Marley has one more than Tasha. Count forward by once. Wow, that's easy. Which number is one more than 23? So if I have 23, what number would I say next? I would say 24. That's easy. 11 ladybugs are on a flower. Four fly away. How many are left? only on the flower. Which addition fact help you solve the, can help you solve the problem? So we know that we have four that flew away plus blank equals 11 altogether. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it must be four plus seven equals 11. And the last one, I'm gonna let you do independently because it says Julio counts by tens. Last week we talked all about counting by tens. Write the missing numbers. 30, 40, blank, blank, 70, blank. Fill in those blanks. Fill in those blanks. Write a number to match each model. Then circle greater than or less than. So you always have to write your number first. This is not asking you for how many tens and how many ones. This is asking you for the actual number. So it's easy to count these by tens and ones. So I would say 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. But I can't circle anything yet because I haven't written my other number. So I'm going to count my other side. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53. Then I remember that Allie the alligator always likes to eat the bigger number. So look at 45 and 53. Which number would Allie want to eat? Allie would want to eat the 53. So is 45 greater than 53 or is 45 less than 53. I think 45 is less than 53. If you said that at home, go ahead and kiss your brain. Great job. You have another example that you can work on. Write a number to match. Then circle greater than or less than. Count your tens and ones, write it at the bottom. Count your tens and ones, write it at the bottom and then choose from the middle. Oh, Mike counts 
32 stars. So he counts 32 stars. So I'm going to put an M over here for Mike. And I'm going to put 32, just so I know that that's how many he counted. Sally counts nine more stars than Mike. Dun, dun, dun. So Sally equals, I need to figure it out. So I'm going to skip that number. We're going to use our brains and count really high. I'm going to stick the number 32 in my brain, and I'm going to count on nine more. 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Because I needed to count on nine more. So I know that 32 plus 9 is 41. So I know that Sally now counted 41 stars. So we need to fill in this sentence. Blank is less than blank. So I would write, whose number is less than blank? So I know that 32, which is what Mike had, is less than 41, which is what Sally had. And then your last example for today in comparing numbers. Mike counts 55 stars. Sally counts 8 more than Mike. Write the number of stars that Sally counted and then complete the sentence. Your higher order question today. How can you compare two two-digit numbers, just like you were doing on Mike and Sally slides, to tell which one is greater? Think about the two numbers that you just did on Mike and Sally's slide and compare them. Tell how you can compare them. The last thing you need to do is complete your Envisions pages. You have pages, pages 509 through 512, and there are pages for you to complete them on.